So I've asked Crystal to, to really talk with me about my services. And Crystal and I have been working together for several years. So I thought a good way for us to start our conversation is for her to really, really share what she would tell someone if they, if, if she wanted to refer them to me. So, Crystal, what would you say? Well, you know I've referred people to you before, and interestingly enough, the conversation never starts off with me having the intention of referring anyone to you. It starts off with uh, either a personal relationship or professional relationship, and we're just having a conversation about whatever. And the topic of work comes up, and when the topic of work comes up, and whoever it is I'm talking to begins to express some anguish about work. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or, or confusion of some sort, I immediate, immediately think of you, immediately think of the work that we've done together, and how it helped me work through some extremely difficult moments in my professional career. So let, let's just backtrack a little bit. Okay. So let's talk about you and your personal history. And uh, I know you were talking about uh, work being uh, heavy lifting. So where did this belief come from? And Sort of, just give us a brief summary and then make sure you include that part. I know where to start. So I would say, uh, I, I'm pretty accomplished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've you had are. jobs at you are. NASA, I worked at some independent schools, I was in the Peace Corps, I have a degree from Harvard, I have a physics degree from Lincoln University, all these accomplishments that I, I'm really grateful for. I was socialized and conditioned to work. <laughs> I come from a family where my dad uh, was in West Point. He went to Wharton. He worked for the federal government for the majority of his career. He was this amazing Renaissance man who I always wanted to emulate. Very routine, disciplined, uh, problem solver, reader, golf player. I can go on and on. My mother from North Carolina was ahead of her time in a really different way. Um, my brother talks about my mother as someone who pretty much taught us the soft skills of life. My dad taught us the mechanics of life, but my mom in terms of relationships, supporting people, operating from different perspectives, she did a lot of that and was hardworking in her own right. So my dad sort of messaged message to us was, you can do whatever you want to, you just have to take responsibility for it. Oh, you want to move to the West Coast? As long as you can take responsibility for that, go for it. <laughs> so <laughs> so that, was, that, was, that was the message. And I also watched my parents uh, and how they were when they came back home from work. And it rarely was it talked about as, especially for my dad. I'll say my, for my dad more so. He was pretty bitter, angry. Just, I think his job utilized his skills, but he didn't feel valued. So he had a lot of choice words for his, for the people that he worked with. And so we just, all of us, I would say, accepted that as a reality of work. Um, but you had to do it. And he also expressed, this always confused me, all this gratitude. You should be thankful for this place where I work. Because that's the reason why we have this house, and that's the reason why I can do the things that I do for you. So this place that was driving me crazy, I had to be grateful to this place. So, so these are the things that, that formed my idea of work. It didn't it? So, I wanted you to tell them about this concept of work being a relationship. <laughs> How do you carry that within you? That's part of the model. Part, you know, it's meaning and purpose, it's personal and professional, it's life energy. Yeah. So 
the relationship, tell me, yeah. Tell me how you carry that. Every part is so, <laughs> it's so powerful. So when I think about work as a relationship, what the model helped me figure out is I can say, well, make the job sort of a person, a mate. <laughs> That's how I think of it, a mate. <laughs> Remember, you might let them get away with a little bit more. A mate, however, you can say, do I feel valued in this relationship? Um, do I feel like we share the same, the same values? Do I feel like we work together well? Um, it really gave me a tool for determining, de determining if the environment was, was good for me. So again, if we return to this idea that I grew up with, that you know whatever's going on, even if the situation's abusive, you just stay in it. It gave me a way to sidestep that and to say, no, I can work hard and I can feel good at work, and I need, I have some needs. I'm fulfilling the needs of the organization in the space. I also have needs. I have a need to to feel like I matter, that uh, my voice and my perspective is. Important. My work is valued. Um, all you know. So, so when I think about work as a relationship, now I can say, well, are, are these things happening? Because if they aren't, typically I know within <laughs> myself I feel bad. Um, I feel unimportant. And, you know, I, I have feelings about it, and now I have some place to put them. Um, so I can either out of that make a decision. So am I going to have a conversation? Um, am I going to try to point out the things that aren't working for me and figure out with my employer how to make them better? Or do I believe that maybe it's time for me to search for another relationship? <laughs> <laughs>